Hello and welcome to this Ultimate Radio Menu version 2.7.0 Important Changes video. This version brings a lot of quality of life changes, but there were some things that were renamed and depreciated, so I just wanted to quickly go over those functions and how to change them to the newer versions. The reason behind these changes was to help simplify the reference to the Ultimate Radio Menu and provide a more streamlined naming structure throughout our assets. It's important to note that I just made these functions and callbacks obsolete, so they will give you warnings in the console about your code if you're using these obsolete functions, but they still do contain the functionality. So even without changing uh, anything after updating, your project should still work just like it did before. With that in mind though, I do suggest updating your code to the new version as soon as possible to avoid errors in future versions of the Ultimate Radio menu. So with all that out of the way, let's begin. The register to radio menu function is the main function that you have been using to register buttons to the radio menu at runtime. The new function is simply named register button. The enable radio menu function is now just enable, and the disable radio menu function is now just disable. There are a few more functions and even some callbacks that have been renamed as well. So to see a full list, check out the readme documentation or the change log that's at the top of the readme file. So that's it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, hopefully it helped you understand some of the changes that were made in this version, as well as how to quickly make the changes that were needed. Now, if you run into any issues, please don't hesitate to contact us on our Discord or even leave a comment below. And thanks again for watching.